Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. Today I'll be showing you guys how to fix some of the most common errors jailbreakers encounter inside of Cydia. This could be anything from Cydia crashing or tweaks causing safe mode, respringing randomly, you're stuck in a non-jailbroken state and the Yangu app isn't working, or even if you accidentally deleted Cydia, this is how to fix all of that. This is the ultimate guide to troubleshooting Cydia. So let's go ahead and get started. Now first things first, I did want to tell you guys that I've seen your comments of those of you who have deleted Cydia accidentally and were asking around for a solution. And I was looking into one, except in doing so I messed up my Cydia. And using the methods I'm about to show you, this is how I fixed it. So first things first, I want to give you guys a pro tip. If you have not yet installed iFile or Filesa, any sort of file manager like this, um, don't, okay? just don't because then you'll be tempted to come in here and mess around with stuff that you're not supposed to be messing around with and I mean I knew I thought I knew what I was doing okay but apparently I screwed up so bad that I almost lost my jailbreak and big shout out to the jailbreaker for helping me get things back in order huge shout out to him if you haven't checked him out be sure to do so so again a pro tip do not mess around with the file system but anyways with that out of the way and let's go ahead and continue so if you're Cydia is crashing randomly or if there are random resprings going on like if you have some tweaks going or a theme like I do so if you are experiencing random resprings on your device it's likely because you're not updated so go into Cydia go down here to changes and hit refresh and in here it should start refreshing all the sources you have and let it reload the data and you should get some updates that look like this. You want to look for Cydia installer and substrate safe mode. If you get this or safe mode, upgrade it. This will usually fix every single crash with Cydia and should fix most issues. However, if you did run an early beta of Yangu, like I did on my phone during beta 1, I was encountering instability, sometimes random safe mode. It started to lessen after I updated Cydia and updated safe mode, so it did kind of partly fix it but if you're still experiencing after you've updated everything you want to go into Cydia Impactor and redo the jailbreak and reinstall Yangu. Just download the file I have in the description and run it through Impactor with your device connected. Install a new version of Yangu. Reboot so that none of your tweaks are working and Cydia doesn't open and then rerun the new version of Yangu. And a lot of you guys are seeing already jailbroken even though you're not. That's probably because you installed a tweak that was bad. So if you can, go into Cydia, hit recent, and delete whatever recent applications that don't specifically specify compatible with iOS 10. If Yangu is telling you that you're already jailbroken and you can't get into Cydia to make any changes, what you want to do is when you're booting up inside of Yangu and it says go right here, hold the volume up button and hit go. And then it should boot you into uh, a mode, a non-jailbroken mode, where Cydia still works and you can go and uninstall any bad tweaks you might have installed. Now I do want to give you guys a quick warning about these .deb files that are out on the internet. Because a lot of other guides that I've personally looked up say you need to have iFile installed and run this in iFile and it'll reinstall Cydia if it's messed up and it'll fix everything. No, it doesn't. In fact, this is how I messed up my device in the first place. So it's not going to fix anything wrong with your Cydia. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to go over is if you have blank sources, like they're not showing the names, they're just showing the URLs, and if you go into the changes tab or go into a source, nothing ever shows up. This can be very problematic. And if you get a ton of errors upon opening, like method HTTP has failed or has died unexpectedly. This is a major error and it's very complicated to run .debs inside of iFile or SSH into your phone which doesn't work yet, it's not updated. It's just really complicated so I'm gonna try to give you guys a one solution for all type thing. Like a one size fit all for this type of error. You guys can see here did not find repository and I'm gonna show you guys how I fixed this and got everything working like normal. So if you do have a broken Cydia going on your device like Oh my goodness. Why is this here? Like that Cydia I just had. I don't, is this even working? If you guys want to fix Cydia, here's what you should do. Alright, so I have deleted Cydia from my device and it's still jailbroken. So I will just plug this into my computer and if iTunes shows up, just close out of it. And then I can show you guys how to fix a deleted Cydia. 
So head below to the description, I will have a link for this file, it's called a Yalu fix file. And you just want to drag it over to Impactor while your device is connected like normal. And then of course log in with your Apple ID. And it should sign the file. And there it is. So it's not going to let you open it, so go into settings, general, scroll down to device management and trust the profile. And then you should be able to come in here. You can unplug from your computer and just hit go. This is a modified version of the Yangu application guaranteed to reinstall Cydia on your device. So this is great if you've accidentally deleted it or something went horribly wrong. But as a side effect, if you use it on a working jailbreak, it will delete all your tweaks. So you want to install the normal version of Yangu after you get your stuff fixed. So there we go, Cydia is back. I can tap on it and loading, there we go, it now works. This is how I got my blank sources fixed, how I got Cydia back after I deleted it. You can see everything works just fine. And I can even upgrade it right here. And also just for your information, it does install an older version of Cydia. So definitely come into changes and hit upgrade. And if it says anything like remove city installer, don't do that. That's not that's not good for your jailbreaks. If there's any weird dependency errors, just go ahead and clear out of Cydia and go back in and let it do its thing. And you should be able to upgrade Cydia without any weird errors or anything. And like I said before, the install tab is going to be blank. Even though I have iFile installed and I have files installed, it's not showing in here. So what you want to do, if you want to get rid of these applications you just want to I search up iFile install it and then uninstall it to get rid of the app icon or if you see any tweaks inside of your settings application that, that pop up out of nowhere and you don't see them active like if you have a theme going but you don't see anemone anywhere and there's no theme and you have the icon you open it up gives you an error just go back into Cydia reinstall that tweak and it should fix any broken libraries that we broke by deleting Cydia. Also, don't go yet. You're not done. If you install any tweaks right now, and then you reboot or run out of juice, and have to run this app, guess what? All your tweaks have been nuked again. So you have to go through the hassle of reinstalling everything. So let's not do that, and just delete that modded version of Yangu, and go back into Impactor and install the actual version of Yangu. Of course, I'll have that link, like I said, down below. So right now, it is in Beta 7. I believe that is probably going to be the latest version that we're going to get. So I'm just going to quit out of that, Beta 7. And then just re-sign the normal version of Yangu on your device. That way, your tweaks don't get deleted every time you run Yangu. So I'm going to go ahead and trust this and come in here. You can see this is the normal version of Yangu. You can't really tell a difference except that when you reboot using this app, it won't be broken like the other one. It won't mess your device up. But anyways, guys, that is my full guide on getting your jailbreak back if you did mess it up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Follow me on Twitter at iAppleGeek. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.